They're in a, a base of lactic acid, which is lactose, and tastes about like packing material. I would say uh, sort of like the plaster or something. It's a really bad taste. And um, it says on the package, it says uh, maximum dose, two tablets every eight hours. In case of an overdose, call your poison control center. I'm still here, Charlie. I th took 32 tablets, and though some of the congressmen fell asleep, I didn't. I'm still here, and I do this regularly, except that lactic acid really tastes awful. It's nasty stuff. But there's nothing in these tablets. Oh, what is the active ingredient? Come on, you should be able to tell me by now. Caffeine. You got it. The sleeping pill. It works the opposite way. Don't look at me, it's their idea, not mine. This is what homeopathy is all about. But wait, it gets better. I said that the more diluted it is, the better it works, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Guess how high they go, folks? They go up to 10 to the power of 1,500. I'm not going to start writing the zeros, I'll tell you that. Those zeros would run right out, out of the room, I'm sure. That's really powerful stuff when you get to that extent. Now, I asked my good friend Martin Gardner, formerly of Scientific American Magazine, I said, Martin, do a little math for me, would you? Uh, save me some time and I'll have it from an authority like you. I said, what is that equivalent to? And he said, well, you need sort of a metaphor. I said, yes, some sort of figure of speech because I'm talking to, to technically minded people, scientifically minded people, and the layman and reasonably intelligent folks who can grasp something if it's a little, made a little easier for them. And figures like uh, 1,500 uh, 1, dilution, such, I don't care how scientific you are, you just can't get a notion of it unless it's simplified for you, and here it is. He said that's equivalent to taking one grain of rice, that's one, one, uno, eins, one grain of rice, crushing it to a powder and dissolving it in a sphere of water the size of the solar system <laughs> with the sun at the center and the orbit of Pluto at the outside. Wait a minute. What about chuka chuka chuka? <laughs> I don't know. It's their problem, not mine. And then repeating that process two billion times. <laughs> now, if that ain't dilute, I don't know what is. But folks, sure, you can laugh at this. We all laugh at this. It's comical. It's juvenile. It's asinine. There's no other way to describe it. But these medicines are being sold in leading pharmacies today, pharmaceutical chains across the country. And just recently, just three or four days ago, they came up on the internet offering people who are worried about terrorist attacks homeopathic medicine that they say are antidotes for radiation poisoning, bubonic plague, smallpox, and anthrax. Now, if this isn't taking advantage of people's grief and their need for some sort of relief, I don't know how else you can determine it. I mean, you can't label it any other way. These are swindlers, liars, cheats, frauds, fakes, criminals. Come on, sue me. No, they won't sue me. They know damn well their case won't stand up in a court of law. It doesn't stand up in science at all. It falls apart. And they say, but we've got these affidavits. Yeah, Nixon said he didn't know about Watergate, too, and he was the president of the United States, remember? Now, am I understandably angry about this thing? Have I got a good cause to be angry and to run this foundation in Florida? and try to attract people to it so they subscribe to the foundation and help to support us, which I'm shamelessly doing for you right now. If you want to do it on a more local level, I would suggest that uh